scenarios, and this is part of that. What I'm saying, really, is that time is a fractal structure. It can be defined by a limited set of variables and then iterated on the micro scale, the macro scale, the human scale. They're all operating under the same architectural constraints, but at different scales. You know, when I talk, talk to my friends, in the EEG world, I do a lot of EEG spectral analysis and stuff. They they they, they think I'm nuts. <laughs> well, you, you <laughs> I say, well, if you want to the... buy my machine and operate, this is how the universe is. And when I speak in these terms, it's it's like I'm it's in a big hall, you know. Well, there's a lot of confusion in the sciences right now. The complexity people are not talking to the dynamics people. The poor materialists have all been crowded into biology. Meanwhile, over in quantum physics, they're talking like a cultist. And none of the news has reached psychology and sociology yet. The house of science is in incredible disarray, and it's because sciences wish to uh, describe nature, they've now dispensed with all the easy stuff. Now we're asking questions like, what is language? What is mind? What is process? These are very deep and difficult questions, and I think they're going to cause a revolution in the science and a reformation of its methods, or science is not going to be adequate to the game. Well, perhaps after some period of anarchy. Yes, well, that's what we're going through. East of the Rockies, you're on the air with Terrence McKenna. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Hi, I just want to start by saying thanks. Uh, and I want to say it's an honor to speak to Terrence. I'm a, I'm a big admirer. Where Where are you, sir? Uh, I'm in St. Louis. My name is Alex. I'm 21 in St. Louis, Missouri. All right. Okay, and uh, I wanted to start by... Uh, um, actually commenting on a couple of things that have been said earlier this evening. Uh, one, I'm looking really forward to 2012, and I'm looking really forward to being part of human evolution and being, being in control of that, really. And uh, I wanted to say about the throwing out of the rock that, uh, you know, it, it seems kind of uh, like that God has already thrown out the rocks on this planet, you know, and that is plenty as is. You know, that's, that is the way things are. That's the planet as we have it, and that should be plenty of knowledge as is, you know, for us to understand everything. And uh, um, I, I, I've had some experience with psychedelics, and I am not, I'm not finished yet, far from, actually. And, uh, but the, the truth to it is that my own personal belief is that you achieve true enlightenment after um, being sober and meditating in sobriety and um, getting it, getting inside yourself. The truth is not outside, it's inside. Uh, that's a very interesting point. Uh, Terrence, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you contemplate the possibility that um, your trip will be complete uh, before 2012? In other words, your personal trip, that, that you will conclude at some point that you've done as much as you need to do and know what you need to know and don't need to do it anymore. I can imagine that. I can imagine that. What I would like to do is take my ideas and turn them over to a general community of interested people and let the chips fall where they may. You know, science is the only human endeavor where you actually get points for proving you're wrong. Yeah. And uh, I love that approach. I'm not interested in pontificating or building dogma or founding a cult. I'm interested in the ongoing adventure, which is a collective adventure, of generating ideas, testing them against reality and the evidence, discussing them with other people, and then going on to build uh, uh, better ideas. And I, I cannot believe that Time Wave Zero is finished or complete uh, because I have finished with it. I'm hoping that like work done by greats in the past, this thing can actually be validated as uh, a real insight into how nature works. Right, well that would have been an arrogant attitude and I'm glad to see you're not displaying it. Yes, I would like to see this thing broken on the wheel of rational discourse or progressively advanced to new levels. All right. West of the Rockies, without a lot of time left, you're on the air with uh, Terrence McKenna. Hello. Hi. This is uh, Dan from Northern California. Hi, Dan. Hi. Uh, quick question, Terrence. 
Yeah. My, um, your book, uh, Food of the Gods, uh -huh. talked about um, early proto hominids encountering, you know, psychotropic plants, I guess psilocybin, right. and that, you know, uh, being sort of the catalyst for this, you know, incredible leap of human consciousness. Um, what about the next step in our evolution? Do you see it coming through some sort of psychoactive substance that we either have yet to develop or encounter? Well, I think that we have encountered these things. I think the enormous creativity of the last half of the 20th century is a direct consequence of uh, the rise of psychedelic chemistry and the breakdown of barriers between cultures. In other words, most of the people designing and building the Internet have psychedelics in their right. past. Most of the people in the music business, in fashion, in media, in scientific research, medical research, architecture, the dirty little secret about the creativity of 20th century civilization, at least in the last half of the 20th century, is that it rests so firmly on a psychedelic base, and yet we deny that. I've got one final question I've got to pose to you uh, with regard to our discussion on the Internet. I interviewed... Uh, Charles Osman, an expert in nanotechnology, uh -huh. he predicts that within the next few years, or even less, we will begin to encounter sentient entities within the Internet. Artificial intelligences, I believe that will happen. I, Hans Moravec has written a lot about this. He would be a guy for your show, Art. And he's talked about how these AIs, these artificial intelligences, they learn 50,000 times faster than a human being. Well, you turn one loose on the Internet where it can talk to all these computers, it can make 50,000 years of progress in one year. Moravec thinks we're not even going to know what hit us when all right. these things come into being. Listen, uh, time as we must measure it is coming to a close. <laughs> um, you're, how many books have you written? Uh, five or six, uh, Invisible Landscape, Food of the Gods, uh, Magic Mushroom Grower's Guide, True Hallucinations, Archaic Revival, on and on. Uh, where do people get these? Regular bookstores? Oh, uh, yeah. They're Bantam and HarperCollins, so any decent bookstore can have them or can order them. All right. Suppose somebody would like to send you email on the Internet. Now, be careful here. Okay. Here it comes. H-C-E at well dot com. That's H-C-E, think here comes everybody, at <laughs> well dot com. H-C-E <laughs> at well dot com. Right. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's so appropriate. Um, here comes everybody indeed. Um, do you, uh, are, are, are you able to uh, answer the majority of the communications? Uh, I try. It may be short. I'm getting about 70 email messages a day. What you're going to do to me, Art, I can't even imagine. But I will make a valiant try. Uh, uh, conciseness uh, counts. <laughs> all right. It does indeed. And, um, and, and people should understand that with the volume you're about to get, it may be brief. Terrence, what a pleasure. It has been. Again, we will do it someday. If they don't talk, toss you into the volcano first, uh, we'll do another interview one day. How about it? Well, I'm worried they may toss you after this one, but if you're there, I'll be here. All right, Terrence, done. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Bye-bye. Take care. From the big island of Hawaii, he's headed uh, back up to his mountain. And me, I may be headed for the volcano. Who knows?